Hey, hi everybody. This is Dr. John Radke uh, from the Grace Recovery Church and from the Buffalo Valley Counseling Center. And we're so glad that you tuned in to our station. Today is May the 9th, and we'd like to uh, share a devotional with you. Actually, we're going to post this on, on the Internet. And uh, so we're hoping that you are going to benefit from these 12-step recovery devotionals. We're going to be reading out of our book today. Hey, if you would like a copy of our recovery book, we have some right here. Uh, they're called the Grace Recovery Workbook. There they are. And you can write to us, and we'll send you a copy of these. They're, the cost is uh, $6 per book. Uh, you can write to us, and we'll send you a copy. Uh, our address is 8 Lara Circle, New Columbia, Pennsylvania, 17856. And if you write to us, we'll send you a copy of one of these books. If you'd like several, uh, you can do that as well. In fact, in this book, uh, we show you how you can actually start your own uh, your own 12-step recovery, Christian 12-step recovery group in your church or in your home. And uh, so there's a lot of information in here for you so that you can use this in your daily walk in recovery with the Lord. Uh, the Grace Recovery Church is the first church in the United States of America that is dedicated to helping Christians in recovery from codependency and addiction. We are strictly on the Internet. You can find all of our videos on YouTube. All you have to do is put our name in, Buffalo Valley Counseling, or my name, Dr. John Radke, and you'll find all of our videos there listed for you so you can watch them free of charge. We also link those videos up on Facebook and on Twitter and also on Google+. And so if you'd like to watch any of our videos, uh, you certainly may. We hope that you'll friend us on Facebook. And also we have a website called GoFundMe.com where you can put our name in, Buffalo Valley Counseling Center, and you can donate uh, to our ministry so that it can help us to help other people who really need counseling but can't really afford uh, for, to pay the fees for counseling. So any money that you give us goes into an offering. It goes into kind of a, uh, a budget area where we can then uh, use that to help other people uh, who have needs in counseling. Well, let's get right to our devotional today. I'm going to read the 12 Steps of Recovery from our book, and then we'll get into our reading today. Uh, number one, I admit that I'm powerless over my codependency and addiction, and that it has made my daily life unhappy and unmanageable. Number two, I have come to believe that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior, and that He can restore my life to health and sanity. Number three, I've, come, I've made a decision to turn my will and my life over to the care of Christ today and His will for me. Number four, I will make a searching and fearless inward inventory of myself now and throughout the day. Number five, I will admit to the Lord and myself and to another confidential person what I have done wrong today. Number six, I will be willing and ready to have the Lord remove all my sins as the Holy Spirit convicts me. Number seven, I will humbly ask the Lord to forgive my sins and will forgive myself even if I know I will repeat them. Number eight, I will make a list of all persons I have harmed and ask for their forgiveness. Number nine, I will make direct amends with those I have hurt or with those who have hurt me and practice biblical forgiveness except when to do so could injure or hurt the other person. Number 10, I will keep my focus throughout the day, and when I'm wrong, I will promptly admit it. Number 11, I will seek through prayer and meditation and surrender to improve my conscious contact with the Lord through the day, praying for knowledge of God's will for me and the power to carry that out. And number 12, as I'm being spiritually and emotionally revived as a result of these steps, I will try to carry this message to other unhealthy people and will practice these principles in my daily walk. There you have it. All right, if you turn your page in the book, we're going to be reading the Serenity Prayer so you can join with us. Read with us on page 11. It says, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change today, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. And then I'm going to jump down and read the Statement of Identity on page 11. It says, because of Christ's redemptive work in my life, I am a new creation of infinite worth. I am deeply loved. I am completely forgiven. I am fully pleasing. I am totally accepted in Christ. When my performance reflects my new identity in Christ, that reflection is dynamically unique. 
There has never been another person like me in the history of creation, nor will there ever be. God has made me an original, one of a kind, a special person. So there's our statement of identity. So if you'd like a copy of this book, I was reading out of it, write to us again. Our address is 8 Lar Circle, New Columbia, Pennsylvania, 17856, and write to us, and we'll send you a copy of this for $6. Uh, you can write a check. Uh, you can send us uh, you know, a check or money order, or you can go on our site as GoFundMe.com, and you can pay for the books there with a credit card, and then we will mail them to you. All right. Well, God bless you. Hey, I want to just share with you, uh, just just ask you, uh, please, to pray for our ministry, the Grace Recovery Church, which is a ministry of Buffalo Valley Counseling Center. And uh, we're just praying for growth. We're praying that if you are being helped, that you will tell others, that you will link this up on your Facebook page and, and your websites, and you'll let people know that we're out there. Uh, that's We're just praying and trusting by word of mouth that we're going to get the word out there that we're here. Uh, we really haven't done a whole lot of advertising. Uh, we're just praying that people will find out about us and uh, the word will get passed on. So we really depend on your help and your prayers. Uh, we also hope that if you have been helped and you don't have any kind of a ministry in your church, that you might go to your pastors or the leaders in your church and tell them about the great Grace Recovery Church ministry and ask them if they you could start something in your church and also ask your pastor if they can... Uh, put a link in their bulletin uh, for our church, uh, for our ministry, so that people can access it and know where to turn to to get help. And also, we offer uh, individual counseling through Skype and through FaceTime. And uh, you can uh, also pass it along to your pastors and your churches, so that we can be a help and a ministry to you, uh, to your people in the privacy of their own homes. And uh, so we have a, you have a wonderful opportunity to do that. So we hope that you will do that. All right. Well, today we're going to read a devotional. Uh, today is May the 9th, and we're going to read a devotion uh, on step number five, step number five of the 12 steps of recovery. And uh, it's entitled Admit to God, and that's, what we, that, that's our emphasis, admitting to God. And our scripture that we're going to be reading from is Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6. Very familiar passage. It says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. You know, yesterday I picked up an old book of my mother's, when, and when I opened it, some papers fell out. Have you ever had that happen? Yeah, I have too. I looked at a few words written on the papers, and that brought some, it brought back some wonderful memories and stories. One of them reminded me of a story I heard many times about a neighbor down the street who jogged early in the morning. As he ran, uh, he would toss my parents' paper up on their front porch. Ma and Pa were in good health, so it was con it, they were not in good health, so it was convenient for them not to have to go down the steps and out in the front sidewalk to pick up the paper. When another piece of paper had some names written down with thank you beside the names. And I am sure these were people who had done something nice for my, ma, uh, my mom and uh, she always called or sent notes of thanks. The third piece of paper was a grocery list. And this was the paper that I really, really made me stop and think. I thought, we can't, uh, why can't we write out a list for God and ask for patience, kindness, and joy? We could also make a list of our problems and give them to Jesus as well. Well, the thought for today, friends, is... List, uh, list help, uh, list help us remember kindness, we ha kindnesses we have received and problems we wish to shed. And uh, so when he, this man was talking about uh, trusting the Lord, he was reminded of all the things that happened in his life and some stories with his mom. He kind of reminisced, 
But he realized that there were people that helped his parents. There were people that were nice to them. There were also struggles that they had. And there were also things that he was encouraged that he needed to look in his life. So the, the scripture today is trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding and all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct our paths. What great advice to us in recovery, right? One of the greatest things we can do every day is trust the Lord. We need to get up and trust him with our recovery, trust, trust him with our sobriety, trust him that he's going to help us with the temptations that come at us every day. We need to trust the Lord. We should never rely on our own, on our own understanding. That's one of the things that we do when we get into denial. Uh, we trust our own integrity. We trust in our own willpower. And when we do that, uh, we will fail in our recovery. Because recovery is about surrender. It's about letting Jesus Christ be your higher power and turning over your life every day to him and asking him for power and strength to overcome the temptations that seem to bombard you in certain, especially in your weak areas of your life. Well, we pray that you're going to have a great week in recovery. Uh, let me pray for you, and we hope that you'll tune in to see all of our videos uh, at the Grace Recovery Church, and we hope also that you'll pray for us and you'll pass the word along to your pastors, your churches, your friends, to let them know that we're here and we, we want to help and minister to uh, Christian people all over the world. Let's pray. Father, we thank you so much for this day. Thank you for those who are listening to this message and pray that you'd help in their recovery today, that you'd just give them a wonderful week, and uh, we pray that you'd help them to realize that they need to trust the Lord in everything and not rely on their own human instincts and human understanding because that can get them in lots of trouble. We pray that you just give us wonderful uh, days ahead, that we would build good memories and we would work hard in our 12 steps of recovery to reach a place of sobriety and, and soberness and, and security. Now we thank you, Lord, for all who are listening. We pray that you administer them and we pray that if there's someone out there that really needs help, we pray that they would reach us and contact us and so that we can minister and help them whatever their need. Now we thank you so much and ask these things in Jesus' name. Hey, God bless you. This is Dr. John Radke, and uh, I am the pastor of the Grace Recovery Church and the main counselor of the Buffalo Valley Counseling Center. We're glad that you tuned in, and we hope that you have a great week in the Lord. God bless you.